is James from Squid Gaming and I'm going to bring you a quick tutorial on how to make a very simple test chamber on the new portal SDK beta so if you haven't already download it in the uh, tools section of Steam and start that up I want to open the hammer world editor and go obviously file and new so if you're not familiar with hammer or similar style SDK programs uh, this is fairly simple you can look up sort of detailed tutorials on the very basics of hammer at other sources this will just be on how to create your first sort of portal one so just make a basic room Made mine uh, 1024 by 1024 and 640 high. And once you have done that, just takes a sec. Copy the floor to the roof, and you have yourself a hopefully leak free um, room. So then you just want to go and select all the faces by holding control, go into your um, materials browser. I just put in the uh, hotkey, or the, sorry, the filter for wall and just grab whatever you want but make sure it's one of the textures you can shoot portals on so I'll just use that one I believe and click the apply textures button if you want you can make the uh, floors and ceiling slightly different so it's not as confusing when you're in the game because that can get quite annoying let's make them that then next you need the uh, default entity which spawns when you use the entity thing that you should know is the info player start so spin around so it's not facing to the wall and then I'm sure there's probably a better way to do this and I'm kind of retarded but then spawn the portal gun entity and oops put that change the scale so you can just sort of put that inside your spawn player so the second you spawn um, you'll pick it up and you I test it, you don't really, it feels just like as if it was in the game, it feels normal okay so then when you run the game it should look something like this okay so after a brief loading screen you should spawn into your room and you spawn very uh, smoothly with the uh, portal gun it doesn't feel strange when you pick it up it's not it doesn't make an obvious sound like other source games and you can do everything you want, shoot portals everywhere for this because we've made everything um, a portal material seems like just the uh, way to define if you can shoot a portal on something or not is to use the material that which in game you could shoot a portal on, there's no 
uh, coding or anything you have to do to make it specifically uh, portal able. So now we'll go back and make a door and a button to activate that door so we can just make the simplest test chamber possible. Okay, so okay, so back in Hammer we need to now create a door entity. So let's type in door into here and you want to pick the uh, prop test chamber door and click apply you'll see you get the door is now there and want to give this a name let's keep it nice and simple and then you will want to make a button fairly straightforward once again just type in button there and there is different types of buttons that's the one that's on the little stand and you walk up and press E that's the one that only accepts the uh, edgeless safety cube I believe it's called that's the one that only accepts the normal cube I'm not sure what these ones do I think they're the ones that go on the roof so they're facing downwards but this is one we want just the standard button looks like that you can see it there's the one you can stand on, put a cube on, put anything on. It's heavy enough. And give this one a name as well. It's nice and simple. So no, don't, and then go. Okay, so now we've got that. There's the outputs tab. Now we want to click add. Uh, drag all these out so you can see what they say. And so we want on pressed, makes sense when you press it. You want the door to perform an action which we want to be open and no delay for our purpose. And when this arrow is a straight black arrow without the uh, red line through it, that means that it will, should work. Uh, then we want to add another one, very similar, but on unpressed, we want the same door to close. So when we get off the button, it closes again, just like it does in the game. So now that we have that, when we run and compile our map here, it should look something like this. Okay, so here we are back again. Here's our button and our door. You see it's not just constantly playing animation now. That was just what it does, what all things with animations do in the hammer thing, unless you tell them not to. So now we hop on this button, and wham, the door is open. Normally it would be in a wall and you won't be able to see these stupid bits on the side. And we get off and it closes again. So that is how to make your simplest test chamber. Um, Next one, I will try and get um, how to do the little trail of lights um, from the door to the button, so you can tell what's linked to what, and also how to maybe, I'm not sure if it's possible in this beta, but do multiple levels and have a little maybe loading screen or whatever in between don't know if you do that, maybe just make a constant string of them. So yeah, I'll work on this, try and make a nice uh, big one, a nice big long test that isn't hopefully too pathetically crap. And thanks guys, so I hope you learnt something from this tutorial. And I will see you next time with another one. So this has been James from Squid Gaming. Hope you learnt something. I already said that. Yep. So, see you next time.